The arrival of two Russian military planes in Venezuela triggered a torrent of hysteria in the United States and from its allies in the OAS and Lima Group. We're looking very much at the troika of tyranny, including Cuba and Nicaragua, as well as Maduro. Part of the problem in Venezuela is the heavy Cuban presence, 20 to 25,000 Cuban security officials. In this administration, uh, we're not afraid to use the phrase Monroe Doctrine. This, this is a country in our hemisphere. The political elite in the United States has never ceased to think that Latin America and the whole of the Americas belongs to them. If you look carefully, you will see that all administrations have conducted interventions in Latin America. They try to control the intelligence services, the military, the governments, and the economy, as well as their foreign policy. The only difference is that now they say it openly. China and Russia tell Washington that such bullying will no longer work. We will continue our friendly and mutual beneficial cooperation with Latin American countries. Latin America does not belong to any country. It is nobody's backyard. I would like to remind John Bolton, if you stop tormenting Venezuela with sanctions, and if international banks unblock Venezuela's billions of dollars, the Venezuelan people will be able to buy medicine and food without the generous aid of Washington. Since the 7th of March, Venezuela's electricity grid has suffered serious acts of sabotage. The victims know who they think is responsible. The opposition, with their lies and distortions, are trying to provoke an intervention here in Venezuela. They think the United States will come and help us, but in fact the only ones helping us are our allies like China and Russia. If we let that so-called humanitarian aid into the country, do you think we'll still be here? No, all this will be taken over by those U.S. lackers. In desperation, the Venezuelan right is begging for an invasion. I wouldn't rule it out, but nor do I think it's the most likely possibility, because Venezuela has powerful and sophisticated air defenses as a result of its military agreements with Russia. The S-300 air defense system is one of the most modern there is. That agreement was signed in 2009, and the system was installed in 2013. An invasion isn't impossible, but it wouldn't be easy.